Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good um, evening. Trying to make this work. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, thank you. <laughs> there are six people, Rafael, Luis, Kathy, Magdiel, uh, Elizabeth, and uh, Luke Emerson. Can you all hear me? Yes, I yes. can. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Welcome. welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining today's session. It's the first session of the module. Thank you very much for being here and connecting. We are about to start with the class. Yes. Uh, well, as far as I know, well, I can see here in the attendance list that though we are, or you guys are 18, 18 people, but I only have, but I only have, let me see how many, just seven people. So like m more than 50% uh, of the students are missing right now. So I don't know what's going on. I sent a message to the group in the, in the WhatsApp group. And uh, so there will be classes, this Anka. Yes, of course. Let me just send a yes. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, let's begin. Let me take attendance, and then I am going to I am going to introduce myself. Let me take attendance. Real quick, today is here. All right. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva. No. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Good evening, present. Hi, thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, Emerson, good evening. Eric Enrique Reyes Marti Martinez or Martinez? Martinez, good right. evening. Good evening, there's a finger mistake over here. Lo corrijo, let me correct it. And also Elizabeth is Elizabeth, right? Not Elise Lisbeth. It's Lisbeth. Finger mistake as well. All right. Uh I say Eric, right? Yes. Thank you, Eric. Julissa Jamilet Villalta Villalta. No, okay. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. This person is not here either. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Here. Thank you, thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Good evening, here present. Good evening, thank you very much. Luis Javier Castillo. Good evening, teacher, present. Thank you, Luis Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present, good evening. Thank you, thank you. Manuel Alexander Vasquez Rafaeliano. That's a weird name. <laughs> All right, no. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Marilyn is not here. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Mario, no. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez.
Tau. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you, Rafael. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Present. Good evening. Thank you, good evening. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. No. Víctor Noé Bonilla Portillo. So there are only 10 people, there are eight missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hi, teacher. Sorry, did you say my name? I think I did. Oh, Diego, right? Diego Benitez. Was it Diego? The first one, the second one. Yes. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva, right? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Uh, well, I, I, I cannot see you guys. Your cameras are off. I can, I don't know what's going on, but I cannot see you right now. So I don't know if you are there or what. All right. Let me start. Let me start by giving you the guidelines or instructions for the module. You already know the guidelines, but it's uh part of the process for me to give you the, the guidelines every class or for uh, people to give you the guidelines every, but it's not this one. Let's see if I can find a song. Where is it though? Oh, it's right. Save it. Yeah, I didn't save it. Oh, it's this one. Never mind. I did save it. All right. Let me start start off by giving you the guidelines. Please uh, let me know if you see the screen or what I am sharing because I am sharing the, this presentation with you. Let me know if you're able to see it. Of course. I thank you, I thank you for letting me know. All right, all right. Uh, well, welcome everyone to this course, English for Work program. This is intermediate number five or module number five. And uh, today is the first day. Uh, my name is Mauricio, as you can see down right. there. Mm -hmm. So let me see if this is actually recording. Let's see, let me see. Yes, it is. It is. All right. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name, my full name is Mauricio Ernesto Cigarán. Celaya. Uh, well, I, I never use my full name. I, I always use Mauricio Cigaran, and that's pretty much pretty much it. I studied at the university uh, from, uh, let me see, from 2010 to 2016. It was almost seven years. Uh, well, actually seven years. Yes. Uh, and I started English for teaching, you know. To teach, to teach, yes. And uh, my teaching experience is the following. As you can see, it's right here. I I was a teacher at uh, Academia Europea for five years, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was five years. I stopped working there uh, a long time ago. Uh, so I worked in Latin Europea for, for a couple of years. I also worked at private schools 
for, for a couple of months. And uh, I am currently working for the government at a school here in Usulután because I live in Usulután. And I'm a, I am an English teacher for seventh, eighth, ninth grades. Yes. All right. That's what uh this is my my experience, my work experience, and this is me, Mauricio. All right. A pleasure to meet you people. Yes. Let's move. Uh let me tell you. I, a little bit more about me. I have a son. He is four years old. Uh, he does not live with me. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He, does not, he doesn't live with me. He lives with uh, with his mother. I I see him every day though. I bring him to my house every day, so I see him every day. I spend time with my with him uh, almost every day. Let me see what else. Uh, I live alone. I am thirty one years old. Uh, yeah, that's what I, that's me, that's me, that's pretty much me, there's nothing else about me. What about you guys? Let me know a little bit about you. Who wants to begin? What about you? Tell me, who are you? Hello, anyone? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I I remember you. I think in the model four, in the beginning. Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> so, yeah, but. It, it it was it was okay. I remember. I yeah. And my name is Magdalena Garcia. And I um I feel good. I have uh, I have learned it so much. All right, all right. Good to know. Good to know. Excellent. What about you, Emerson? Tell hey, us about thanks. Emerson, are you there? Tell us about you. Hi, good evening. Well, first time I met you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, there's a well, there's a less people here in this course related to the to the, the amount of people who studied in level three. And, and well, by myself, um, I'm 39 years old. I work as a health as analyst, mm -hmm. as in support, technical support. And uh, well, I live in San Salvador. And uh, well, I hope to learn more than getting advanced in this course you know that's all what right. expectations all right excellent awesome awesome very good very good uh kathy what about you tell us a little bit about you hi and good night to everyone uh, well my name is kathy gonzalez but you can tell me kathy um i am a new participant in this course and i hope to learn a lot of i'm from san salvador and I am business financer, and I work as a business financer. All right, all right, that's good, that's good, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. By the way, how's nice the weather? You. How's the weather over there in San Salvador? What? Sorry. <laughs> how's the weather in San Salvador? Um, it's not raining, but <laughs> the pronostic was it would be raining, <laughs> but not now. And actually, they, they I don't know why they suspend the classes. Well, classes are over, yeah. but, but uh, not for the superior levels. But they suspend the classes because it, supposedly there was a, a, a this big storm coming. I don't know really about it, but, but uh, it hasn't rained that much. 
Yes, but actually it's not raining. Um, for me, it's better because <laughs> to be in classes is better that it's not raining. Yeah, all right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you, Kat. Nice to meet you. All right, nice all right. to meet you too. Uh, Luis Mauricio, what about you? Tell us something about you, a little bit about you. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Luis Fabricio Tovar. Uh, Fabricio, it's okay for me. Uh -huh. I'm a field salesperson for the Tacoon Company in El Salvador. I'm a 47 years old man, and I'm glad to be here. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Luis. Oh, well, I thank you, Mauricio. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, all right. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rafael, what about you? Hello, everyone. And my name is Rafael Herrera. Uh, I prefer you call me Rafa. Short. And I work uh, as a technical support agent for the center. For uh, uh, eleven years. Oh, eleven years. Wow. Uh, that's it. Yep, eleven years. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but, uh, by the way, I'm from Santana. What are you from? Sorry, didn't catch it. Santana. Oh, Santana. All right, all right. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Javier, what about you, Luis Javier Castillo? Hi, good evening, everyone. And uh, my, my, sorry, sorry, my dog is very crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Me. Este, uh, I, I, my name is Luis Javier Castillo. I work, I work in Centro de Conectividad. Mm -hmm. This company, and um, our, our distribution and products of technology, security system, uh, optical fiber, uh, product for a IECP, provider internet. Mm -hmm. uh, I love my work and, and because um, it's important for me in learning English. And then this module, uh, number five is the, the second one for, for for you, the with with the teacher, <laughs> and uh -huh. I I was in the in the uh, module number three, um, more or less, and the basic, uh -huh, the basic, and and oh, only. Well, I'm I'm guessing that was like a year ago. I. I really don't remember your, 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 well, I don't remember you, <laughs> but Gil mentioned that I was his <laughs> model number, module number four, uh, basic, I don't remember either, uh, that must have been like a year ago, or like nine, or ten, eleven months ago, something like that, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember either, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, right. Yeah, Diego, what about you, Diego? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi. I'm new here. All right, all right. It's my first time in, in a course of in some form. Is your first and... time ever? Yes, yes, sir. All right, and, all right. And I'm actually working in a driver school. And I'm studying aeronautical engineer. And I have to learn a lot of English because it's a requirement. I think mm -hmm. that is the correct word for it's my career. For my career. And I want to, to learn and improve my skills uh, speaking English. And uh, I don't know. Ah, and I have relatives near your town. I uh, know Musulatan. I know Sultan and that, and it's a precious um place, but um it's so hot, so hot. But that's it for me. Ah, and I am 
21 years old. All right, you're very young. <laughs> you're very young. All right. Diego, welcome to, nice to, to this uh to this modules to English Corporativo. Thank you for choosing the company. It's good. Thank it's good you. to have you here, right? Yes. Thank Excellent. you. Let me see. Uh Rafael Herrera. Yeah, right, we did you, right? Yep. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Eric and Re Eric Reyes. Okay, good Hi. evening. Good evening. Um, team. My name is Eric Reyes. You can call me Kika if you want. Um, I am 23 years old. I'm an accounting assistant and I work at Cleaner. Um, my goal in this model is get hired in a call center and I want to try to develop my skill um, as a speaker on, on in English. And as you know, everyone have a, a goal and this is my goal. And I willing to to develop several uh, challenges by achieving that. And that's why I'm here today um, starting this new uh, model. All right. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. That's Thank it. you. Very good. Very good. You got your goals. Excellent. That's good. That's good. All right. Mauricio Edgardo, what about you? Well, hi. My name is Mauricio Edgardo, and you can tell me. Mau, I don't know. We are Tocayos. Um, yes, we are. Yes. Name, um, namesakes. Namesake is a, is a word. Namesake. 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 Okay, perfect. Oh, well, um, I'm working in a call center. I've been working around two years, but uh, I want to improve my English because I need to improve my skill in different things like uh, pronunciation and grammar. And and because I want to learn another language like uh, Portuguese, but I I I I realize that I have to improve my my pronunciation on my fluence when I try to express my ideas. And my goal now, or oh, for the next year, at the middle of the year, is is get a uh, another language. And I consider that uh, English corporate is a great opportunity to to improve my English and to get my goals. Um, and I uh, I don't want to to spend my time at night to see another thing or or movies or series, and I I got a great opportunity to to improve two over two hours per day, and thanks for help us. All right, well, Mauricio, welcome. Thank you for for being here. Uh, well, let me tell you that uh, I was trying well a couple of years ago. I tried to learn another language. Uh, it was German. But let me tell you that learning German is uh, a challenge. It's kind of difficult. It has some words in English that are similar, but it's the pronunciation, the spelling, the writing. It's, it's really hard to, to learn it. But uh, you're talking about Portuguese, right? You mentioned Portuguese. I think Portuguese is it's easier, you know, because... It has on some uh, words in Spanish, more words in Spanish than German. But like learning another language in general is difficult. It's difficult. Yes. Well, I wish you I wish you the best, Mauricio. Yes. You can do it. You can do it. You speak English, you can speak Portuguese with no problems. Raúl Edgardo. If we, if... Hello, good evening. Good evening. I am Raúl Edgardo. Can can you just tell, tell me, Raúl? I am 20, 22 years old. I work um, I work at OR Auditores. I am assistant a coding assistant. Mm -hmm. I I think that to learn the new things. I'm afraid modeling 
inglés corporativo. All right. Thank you, Raúl. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I'm not sure if Elizabeth is here. Elizabeth, are you here? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Ah, uh, yes, sure. Um, well, my name is Elizabeth Stephanie. You can call me Stephanie. I am Cisney engineer. I am working like uh technic technicians technical support. I'm 25 years old. I live in San Salvador and I don't know. I hope to learn some new things. All right, all right. Well good to have you here. Thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. Oh Stephanie, <laughs> sorry. All right. Ronald, what about you, Ronald? Alexander Vasquez. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Ronald Alexander, uh, and I prefer uh, that you can call me Ronald. Um, I currently am working for a um, for a consulting for a consulting firm where I when, where every day I I have to read, I have to um, uh, I have to read and analyze many things in English, but I want to improve my pronunciation skills to the capacity to to express ideas and more in a more technical way. Uh, because uh, uh, a few goals at the future are to apply with better opportunities, even in uh, to study abroad or or working abroad. So uh, because uh, for me it's very interesting to learn and to the support of English Corporativo, I, I think that is a um, a good uh, a good start uh, for that for that goal. All right, all right, excellent, Roman. Thank you, thank you. Okay, people, excellent. Thank you for introducing yourselves. Uh, welcome to this module or welcome to intermediate number five. It's a pleasure for me to be here and uh, well, I will do my best to, to give you a little bit of what I know. Yes. And uh, let me continue or let's continue with something else. Let me show you what that is. It's, uh, let me see. A question, do you have, uh, are you in the WhatsApp group already, everyone? Confirm if you are in the WhatsApp group. Yes, of course. Yeah, I am. Uh, yes. yes, of course. Yes, okay, yes me you, too. Thank you, thank you. If you're not in the WhatsApp group yet, please go to your uh, email and over there you will have the, the, the link. Click on the link and that link will send you directly to the WhatsApp group. All right. Just do that and uh, just in case if you're, you're just in case you're not there. Another question is this if you have I don't know if you guys have access to the platform already. Yes. Do you have yes? Let me know if you have if you have access to the platform. I'll have your names already over here if you want to see them. I have your names and everything. So I can see this. I think all of you are here. Hopefully all of you are here. Yes. All right. If you don't have access to the platform or if you have any issues or inconvenience, when trying to to sign in or log in, let me know. All right, let me know if you have problems. In that way, I can see how I can solve it. All right, let's go back to this. Uh, let me continue with the guidelines. And let's start with this. Uh, the homework and evaluations or exams are all of this. All of this is in the platform. You can find all this information, the homework and the evaluations. You can find this information on the platform. And it says right here, look, if you read with me, it's necessary to obtain or to get 80%, at least, this is the minimum, 
the minimum is 80% on the homework and the exams. There are two exams. As you know, the first exam is called midterm, which you will see in the second session. And then the second exam that we have is the final exam. You get a whole guy over here. All right. Uh, it says there that you need 80% at least, or the minimum is 80% to successfully uh, complete the course. If you get less than 80%, you might, well, you will have issues trying to enroll in the next module. So guys, try to get 80%, at least 80%. If you get 90%, 95% or 100%, that is perfect. Not a problem, yes. And uh, all the homeworks, you can find all the homeworks on the platform. You, It's recommendable to work on the platform right after the class or the next day, first thing in the morning. But I highly recommend you guys working on the platform right after we finish the class. Because, you know, when you pile up activities or homework, mm -hmm. at the end, it's tedious to be like completing the whole thing. So I highly recommend you guys do it right after class, okay? So every activity that we have, every homework or every evaluation or exam, all of that is on the platform. You can find it there, yes. Uh, look, uh, let me see. Well, in this case, it says all homework from topics that we, we cover every day. It says here that they have to finish, well, they have to be done every Friday by midnight. But this is not entirely true because in our case, uh, we're gonna have one day off this week. It's Thursday. On Thursday, we will, we will have no session because it is a holiday. So we're gonna be working or finishing the platform uh, every Monday or Monday, right? Not Friday, it says Friday over here, but it's not going to be on Friday. It's going to be on Friday. Monday, every Monday, all right, at midnight, yes. Because the Instafor or English Cooperative sends this record every week or weekly, yes, yes, all right. The last day or the due date to deliver the midterm exam is going to be on Monday 13, November 13, before midnight, all right. And the last day, the last day to complete the final exam is going to be on Monday, December 4th, before midnight. Yes. I got to tell you something about this, these two exams, though. Uh, I recommend doing or, yeah, yeah, I recommend doing the midterm by this date, November 13th. The final exam, though, might, might, I might give you some, a uh, couple of more days because we're not going to, it says December, it's not this, this date, all right, it's, I made a mistake right here. It's going to be some other, let me change it. Or, so, thank you, 27. Just changed it. Then bring it back. It is here. All right. I got it back. So I was telling you that the last day to deliver the final exam is not going to be on December 4th. It's going to be on December 27th, yes. And I was about to tell you that we might have a couple of more days because we're going to finish the module on December 4th, a week later, a week later. But it is recommendable to finish the, uh, the, the sessions or these exams on these dates, on these dates, yes. 
like I said, we, we, we can give you, or we might give you a couple of more days for you guys to complete everything, yes. Next, about the book that we use or the manual that we use, you can find it on the platform and you can download it from there. Or you can, uh, well, it's, I think it's better for you guys to, to get it, to download it. Yes, yes, it's better for you to download it. And we do not use third party material, okay? We do not use other material besides, or we only use the one that English Cooperativo provides or the ones that Instaport provides. We do not use any other kind of uh, material, material, sorry, yes. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No, it's okay, coach. We're good, we're good so far? All right. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes? Uh, well, practically, we're still in October. Can you hear me? I think, can you hear me now? I'm sorry? Can you hear me now? Yeah, but it's really hard to hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you better. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was checking the the the, the dates from the the last the last uh, attendance, and it's, mm -hmm. you you said the last date to do the final exam it's December twenty seventh. So this level yeah. is around about about two two months, I think. No, I changed it. I changed it. <laughs> Okay, I at the beginning I had it. I had like like let me let me do it right here. At the beginning I had this. It was December fourth, so I changed it to twenty seventh. Yeah. But I mean I mean November, not December. Oh oh okay. <laughs> December. My bad. Sorry. I I changed the oh. date. The date not the month. Oh okay. Thank you. There you go. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Teacher. Yes. It means that is this the last uh, course of the year? I believe so. Big, well, I'm not really sure. I, I, I'm not the one to tell you, but uh, it's it's a possibility, yeah. Uh, okay. And I think it's the last one of the year because you already know that from intermediate up, you don't get four four weeks. You get five weeks. Yes, and uh, we're gonna be done with this module on December fourth, next month. Well, actually, November, December, in December, we're still in October, so it's gonna be three weeks. No, I don't. This is the last one. Yes, because they usually take one week for the paperwork or two weeks for the paperwork. And then they start the next one, so it's got has to be the next the next year, yes. Okay, thanks. Do you have any more questions? No. All right. Let's continue. Uh, you already know well requirements, full name, when you are here on the platform, when you can. Well, the platform is over there, over there. Right. You got to have your full name over there. Yes. And I can see over here that we have uh, two Luises. We got uh, two Edgardos. Yes. And, uh, and three, three actually, no, no, two, two Edgardos, two Luises. All right. Yeah. So don't write, don't write on the platform, Edgardo, Edgardo, no. Write your full name in that way we avoid any any mistakes. Yes. Uh in the case in the case of listeners, you have to add or put listener before your name. Before your name, write the word listener. In that way, I will know that you are not available for participation. Yes. But the listener option, let me tell you this, the listener option is our last resource, right? 
only for emergencies. If you are still working and you cannot really participate, let me know. All right, and write write listener right before your name. Yes. Try to participate as much as you can. And it says here that we need to have our cameras on for all the session, the whole session. And I, I only see Luis Javier with the camera on. Yes. And uh, the next thing is that we have to minimize the, 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 the noise as much as we can. Sometimes our dogs are barking. There is some kind of noise in the background. So if there is noise, just turn off your microphone and that way you will not bother anyone. Yes. And uh, well, we always, well, in my case, I like to, to, I like everyone to participate. And I like to ask everyone and I like to receive everyone's opinions, everyone's points of view. So nobody, <laughs> nobody's the safe, right? I'm going to ask and I'm going to be asking everyone for participation. Maybe in one activity, you're not going to participate, but you will participate in the other activity and so on. Now, about the attendance, you already know that Inglés Corporativo has three main requirements for every module. The main requirements are attendance, is this one, attendance, the other one is the activities and the platform. And the last one is the survey that we do at the end of the module. Those are the three main requirements for enrolling into the next module. Attendance, homework on the platform, and the survey that we do at the end of the module. So guys, be careful with the attendance and be careful with the activities on the platform. Attendance. Yes, we have to be here 100%. That means that we need to be here 120 minutes. Well, you can see it here. Yes. We have to be in the class from beginning to end from 8 p.m. to 9, sorry, to 10 p.m. Yes. So... 120 minutes every day, yes. You already know that if you only join the class for 20 minutes, the, the hour or the two hours are not going to count. What is going to count is the 20 minutes only, not the two hours, yes. So be careful with the, with the time you are here that you spend in the class. You have to be here the whole class, okay, yes. This is for every session. Yes. I am going to take attendance two times only. At the beginning from 8 to 8.20. That will be the first time. And the second time will be by the end of the session. Around 9.40 to 10. Well, 9.40 to 9.55. Yes. And uh, the attendance will only be valid if you guys say here or present, all right? It says here presente in Spanish, but no, Spanish no, right? It has to be in English, right? Yes. And the last thing over here, the the one-to-one -one sessions, this is this will be available for everyone right after right after every class. So this means that I am going to choose a person every day to stay after 10 p.m. This person is going to stay from 10 to 10.20 to clear any questions, any confusion about the topics or about anything related to English, yes. And uh, we are only 18 people. We are only 18 people in the module and there are 25 sessions. This means that we're going to be repeating the person for how many people are we going to One, seven, 18, 19, 20. We're going to repeat seven people. I'm talking about the 10 minutes right after the class, right after the session, after 10 p.m. 
So let me repeat this again. For every session, I'm going to choose a person from the attendance. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the attendance order. Yes, from the first one to the last one. I'm going to choose the first person, the second, third, fourth, etc. This person is going to stay 10 minutes uh, after the session from 10 to 10 uh, to 10 past 10. And uh, uh, when I'm done with the 18 people, I'm going to start over. When I'm done with the 18 people, I'm going to start over and I'm going to select seven people again, again. Because there are 20, 27 sessions and there are only 18 people. That means that I have to repeat people for the one-to-one -one sessions. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions? No, from my side. No questions for the moment? Okay, it's okay. All right, let's continue then. About Zoom, you already know how to use Zoom. Yes, we got the silence, uh, the silence button, button or the mute option. We got the camera, the shot, the breakout rooms, uh, the button, uh, the, 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 the ask for help option. And the last thing is you have to respect everyone. Yes, you have to respect everyone. So we got the Zoom options. E about something important here, or yeah, pretty much important. If a person has the microphone on and this person is not participating and I hear too much noise, I'm going to mute this person, all right? Yes, I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> yes, if you guys, if your microphone is on and there is too much noise uh, on your side, I'm going to mute you and that way you won't be uh, bothering or annoying anybody, okay? I'm just letting you know. All right. Now, about the platform uh, things, look at this. This is more more uh, specific. The first week, or let's go with units. The unit number one, well, the first week, it starts from today to Monday. Okay, it's going to end on Monday. So from today to Monday, you got to do the section number one or the week number one. Yes. I'm talking about the platform, the platform. If we go to the platform, we can see that right now. Let me share that right, right here. Okay, look, section, section number one, it's right here. Section number one, you need one e-commerce, right? This is the one I'm talking about right here in the, in the presentation. Look, that's the first one, all right? The second one starts from uh, December 7th to December 13th, as you can see. You gotta do the section number one plus the meter. You have to do two things. There's the week, the week two, or the session number two, and you gotta do the meter. Section number three, it's from uh, December 14th to December 20th. You gotta do section number three. And the last Sorry. section. Yes? Sorry, teacher. That is December or November? You're right, you're right. It's the November, November. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yes, November. I don't know what happened here. Yes, it's uh, from uh, October over here. October, I don't know what, what happened to me. Yes, you're right, you're right. November, November. Sorry. Yes. So let me, let me bring you back. Session number two from November 7th to November 13th. 
session number three from November 14th to November 20th. And the last one is from November 21st to November 27th. Not December, right? Not December, my bad. All right, yes, are we clear with this? Yes. Yes, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any last questions? We are about to start with the with the with today's topic. Do you have any last questions? No, not on my side. No. Question. All right. That's okay. That's okay. Then let's begin. I got this question for you. What is e-commerce? Do you have any ideas about this? E-commerce. What is e-commerce or what, what do you get or what comes to your mind when you see this, this expression or this word, e-commerce? I think there is um, a new form to sell products. Uh, online using the social media. All right, and, all right. Thank you. Yes, yes. And, yes, that's it. Keep going. <laughs> all right, all right. Any other ideas? Thank you, thank you, Diego. Could be. Could be on my channel. Online selling? Online, yes, online shop. Okay, shop online. all right, all right, yes. Thank you, thank you, Miguel. Who else? I think I think the all all business basis of internet hmm? for for sharing catalog catalogs catalogs yes. catalogs. Internet. All right, all right. Any other opinion? Thank you, Luis, Magdiel, and Diego. Your opinions? Uh, it's all the related uh, transactions that mm -hmm. it does involve all the uh, network communication. I mean, we're not that's not using paper to do transactions so we can use all the web to buy and sell items or things all right all right that's a good one thank you Emerson, for that one anybody else it could be shopping and selling things through internet okay all right all right Thank you, Mauricio. Anybody else? Yes, is another way to show the uh, or product if we have a a business or or something that you can sell. Okay. In, go on, go way. on. Because uh, uh, is. It's close to, no, no, it's another way in this case uh, to show in this country uh, and in the world, around the world, uh, or product, because it doesn't have limit. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Very good, guys. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, your opinions are correct your opinions are correct all of them all of them are correct yes e-commerce is all about the internet about selling about buying products items anything online using social media using websites and uh, many many options but let me show you a definition about or of e-commerce oh by the way the E, the E stands for electronic, electronic commerce, okay? 
That's what the E stands for. Yes. E-commerce. Okay. E-commerce. Companies and individuals that buy and sell goods and services over the internet. Very easy and simple. What is goods? Do you know what goods are? What is goods? Yes. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Yes, that's what goods are. So e-commerce. Uh, let me see. Magdiel, read it. E-commerce companies and individuals that buy and sell goods and services over the internet. Okay, over the internet. Services. Oops. All right. And uh, for tomorrow, we're going to see this thoroughly. Oh, no. Tomorrow, we're going to see the types of e-commerce. Right now, I'm going to show you the, the, the some of them, but not thoroughly. Just the, the superficial part of it. Look, we got types of e-commerce, business to business, business to consumer, business to government, consumer to consumer, consumer to business, and go sorry, consumer to government. So there are there are six six types of e-commerce. You see them over here. Let me repeat them. Business to business, you know, two different companies. Let me give you a, let me, let me give me a, give me a second, a second here. I mean, it. I have a problem with my, with my teeth. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. It's just a... There you go. All right. So I was saying business to business, business to consumer, business to government, consumer to consumer, consumer to business, and consumer to government, but we are going to see this tomorrow with more details, all right? Yes. Now, let's begin. Question discussion. Question discussion on the manual or on the book, you will see this. It says here, I will be able to differentiate advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. Yes, right? And there are three three questions right here. Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What do you like about shopping online? Do you prefer it over going to the store? Let's see, the first question. Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What do you think about this? Or let me see, what is Retail, the word retail, what is it? A reseller. Preventa. I'm sorry? I don't know if it is reventa. Re what? Reventa, no. What, what is it? What is that? <laughs> a retailer. A retail, uh, I think uh, it's when you sell goods right, individually, like a store, yeah. a tiny store or a, a local store that mm -hmm. sells goods to end users. Exactly, exactly. Yes, exactly. It's, it's a... Uh... A company or a store or a place that sells goods, items, or products individually. Individually, yes. 
is not like buying dozens or uh, hundreds or uh, thousands of, of things or items. You know, there are companies that buy thousands of products to sell them. Yes. The other word or the opposite word of this of retail is this one. Let me show you in the chat. You can see it. That's wholesale and retail is the opposite. Do you see it in the chat? Let me know. Yes. All right, the information is there. Wholesale, wholesale, and retail, right? Wholesale and retail. Wholesale are companies, or it can be a person. It can be a person or a company that buys many items from a main company. Yes, and they sell them. Right, and retail is a. Uh, it can it can be smaller, a smaller place or store that sells these products or items individually. All right, thank you, thank you. So the question, the question there, do physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What do you think about this question? What do you think about this question? Um, I think that nowadays, um, I think that um, is more a compliment. They are uh, they are complementary services because I think that uh, for for many people that prefer or for many reasons that prefer to buy online or is more accessible, uh, I think there is a compliment, not necessarily uh, a limitation to the road of the traditional traditional channel. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Good opinion, good opinion. Excellent. Thank you, so, thank you, Rona. So do I. Um, I, I think same like my my classmate, and I think that some people think um that if you if you can if you can buy something in a physical place, uh, you have a, a warranty of if if the product is um in a bad no sé, bad, mal estado ¿Cómo sería? bad condition is in a bad condition you can um uh, reclaim a change complain or... complain you can you can complain oh i think that it's like uh it is uh, safe here no. Safer, yes, safer. All right, all right. Who else? Thank you, Diego, for your opinion. Anybody else? Well, in my opinion, that is depending that the product that the the, the seller offer us, because some products is. Eh, it's very important to check the personal the, or physical uh, product to buy it. But something like, a, I don't know, probably a, a monitor or keyword or a new cell phone. Um, it's not no, it's not like a, um, an obligation to check that. So you can buy it online and receive by delivery. But um, another thing is very important to check um, physically. For me, is it's a good option, but uh, um, I don't know. Uh, I consider that it's very important to option. I have two options: uh, physically stores and 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 digital, like uh, marketplace and other places. 
All right, all right. Good opinion as well. Thank you, thank you. Mauricio, is there any other opinion? No? All right. Second question. What do you like about shopping online? I would like to get more opinions. What do you like about shopping online? Tell me. What do you uh, like about shopping online? Oh. Well, me again. Uh, about shopping online, uh, I consider that we have many options to, to get and a lot of time to to take an, a best option when I try to buy something. And when if, if, we, if I go to the physical stores, we have a seller close to us to shop the best option for, for them, not for us. And online, you have the option to get the product or, or to forget the, the product and without any obligation or well, yes, without any obligation. Um, but I considered the, I have different opinions. For example, if we, if we have something and I want to, 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 to claim something about the product, some, the, some sellers says, uh, well, that is, we can now provide another product or we can now change the product cause you already pay for that or something like that. But I, I, in my case, I like to buy it online. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Mauricio, for your opinion. Anybody else? What do you like about shopping online? Um, uh, in my case? Yeah. Sorry, okay. uh, go ahead. So, um, in my case, uh, what I prefer, I, I think that it depends of the product and what I'm uh, what I'm looking for. I what I prefer uh, of shopping online is that sometimes there are exclusive exclusive deals uh, online because it depends the strategy of the um, of the store is trying to is trying to boost the shop the the online shopping. So. Uh, there are some some good deals, uh, and I think that um, uh, you can see all the catalog of of products. Uh, it's not limited what 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 is in a store because if you go to a store, maybe some uh, some models or some products are not available because are um, how do you say agotados? Oh, wow. Are are so are are sold out so oh, no, no. Uh, 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 meanwhile online you can see you can see different products and 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 to adjust the time and the place where you can where 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 you can pick up the product i think that are the the benefits to to shop online to shopping online all right all right excellent opinion Ronald. thank you thank you very good, very good. Okay, uh, I think Rafael or Eric were about to say something. I don't know. Yes, of course. Me, Rafael. Uh, let me see. Rafael, go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I like to, or I prefer to purchase uh, online because it's faster than go to a physical store. Um, for example, uh, I'm currently working from home, but when I have to, when I have to travel to San Salvador to work on site, I work from a.m. to five, so I don't have time. I don't have time to to go to a physical store if I want to purchase something. So I prefer a uh, looking room in marketplace or, or another another store online and receive the product with delivery on site. I think it's faster. All right, all right. Okay. Good opinion, Rafael. Thank you. Eric. 
Well, in my case, I I have um I have a uh, two options. In this case, I prefer uh, shopping online, but when I'm buying something like foods or something that that I don't consider that is maybe an electronic or or something that is new in this case, but it is a machine. For example, a cell phone is it have been using before. Uh, I won't. I won't buy that. Uh, because uh, I need to see and um, use that before before buy and something benefit that I consider uh, by shopping online is you have a quick fix uh, with the with the clients or or sellers in this case when you are looking for something um you can compare prices uh, and you can find a, a for example, a uh, headphones. The last month, I buy a uh, headphones, and it was. I I I found that less expensive that that show in the Instagram or Facebook is is better. In this case, if you don't have enough time, is it the best way? Because you are having. Uh, you don't have a uh, go to place to place and you only look for it on Google and or social media in in a quick fix uh, you have an answer yes that's yeah. why it's, it's, it's better All right. I think you I think you said but my opinion, I think shopping online is not really better. I think it's easier, easier for us, because uh, as Rafael was saying, he spends he spends his, like, the whole day working, so he doesn't have time to go to a store. So he goes just he just uh goes to Google or Facebook or Instagram, and he finds the inform the products over there. So it is easier. Probably probably better. I don't know. It's. I think it's easier. It's easier shopping online than going to the to the store. It's it's better. I mean, it's better. It's better and easier. I would say. Teacher. That. Yes. Another fact is that in the most of cases, uh, shopping online is um is uh, cheaper. Mm. Because um, I think that the physical stores, um have to pay uh, has has to pay yes has to pay no have to pay the um, the bills and um the alquiler the rent the rent yes uh, and the 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 online stores um don't have to pay it and it's it's cheaper the product is are, are cheaper you're right you're right Yes, about that. Yes, you are right. Uh, like the physical stores, they have to pay rent, they have to pay taxes, and uh, both the bills like electricity, water, and things like that. So sometimes they they raise they raise the prices on the products because they need to pay. Uh, this this uh, what's the name of this? Liabilities. All right. Uh, any more opinions? Have you ever, teacher, have you ever had a bad experience buying online? Me? Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I don't really remember when this was. I think it was like four or five years ago. I bought this product online from China. I think it was from China or Japan. Some place in Asia, 
think it was China. And it cost me twenty dollars. It took three months to get here to Salvador. Three months, a lot of time. Yes. And uh, when I got the product, I was I was very very surprised and disappointed and angry because uh, I compared the, the item with the picture online, and it was something completely different. It was not the same. What I had in my hand was something very cheap, you know, and uh, it had very low quality. And what I saw in the picture was something like, like amazing, Im impressive, good, in my opinion. Right? So uh, I got it got scammed in that, that time, you know, that was a long time ago. That was my first time. My second time, I can't remember what I bought. Second time, I think it was a, a cable for, for my cell phone. Uh, but this cable, yeah, I, I, I remember. It was a cable for, for a cell phone, right? A cable that apparently or supposedly worked for uh, Android and uh, Android cell phones and, uh, and uh, iOS cell phones or iPhones. But when I got the cable, it didn't work for 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 iPhones. Only for Androids, but uh, sorry, my eye is itchy. But what I saw online, it said that the cable worked for both Samsung or Android cell phones or or Apple uh, Apple cell phones or iPhones. But in reality, the when I got the cable, it was just for Android cell phones, not for iPhones. So that was bad publicity advertising. That was another. Buy experience I had, yes. So I yes, don't usually, I, think, I yes. don't usually buy online. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a disadvantage of buy online, but mm -hmm. I I think that there are some products that is necessary to try it in, in this moment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think now that is not that that has changed a lot because I I know a person that that buys online very often, and this person hasn't has hasn't had any problems with with the with his items, or what with whatever he buys, he gets it yes in good conditions, in a, a very short period of time, he has no complaints. I think it's because now like like the online stores or the like Amazon, eBay. All those places are are more, uh, what's the word? Are more, what's the word that I want to use? Strict, are more strict with sellers, and uh, if a person wants to sell products through eBay or Amazon, they they have to like like uh give you things, like like the way they are, not lie to you, because if they lie to you, you can sue them. If you sue them, they're gonna have very, very um, bad problems. Yes. Uh, I think Luis was gonna say something, Fabricio. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I think that shopping online has advantages and disadvantages mm -hmm. uh, because you can touch uh, the the product you. Um, has comprado has been that you have bought you have bought until you you got it in your hands mm -hmm. uh, by on the other hand when you go to a physical store you can touch it you can see it you can uh, ask questions uh, about the product uh, shopping online is different. Uh, sometimes you can ask uh, questions to the seller, uh, but it's not the same when you can see the product. So many people, I think, uh, that prefer to go to a physical store uh, for that reason. All right, all right. Well, I don't go shopping that much, so I don't I don't really have a preference. I can buy online or, or 
go to a physical store. I don't do it very often, so that's why I don't really have a preference. But look at this, the third question. The third question is this. Do you prefer it? I mean, do you prefer it over going to the store? The question is like this. Do you prefer shopping online over going to the store? What do you think? Do you prefer shopping online over going to the store? It depends on the product of you want to buy. Okay. Or the or the side that you are buying. For example, if you if you buy a cell phone uh, from the Samsung official site, is um, safer than than you buy a uh, uh, Samsung on eBay, for example. Yeah. And I think that with the um how do you say electrodomestico i don't remember sorry kitchen supplies kitchen supplies sure. kitchen supplies yes um with the kitchen supplies or electronics in general it's better online than and than the physical stores because uh, are cheaper than than the, the others all right well you you said something true over here like uh it's safer to buy from the main place than other places it's safer all right any other opinion no we're good But I prefer um, to buy clothes on on physical store because I have problems to find my my size. His size, all right. Yes, it is true. I think it's better. Like when it comes to clothes, I think it's better to go to the store. You don't get what you what you really want if you buy if you buy online. Yes. Anyone? Anybody else? Uh, that my friend said, uh, I'm agree because it depends of the of the product and the brand that you can that you will buy because uh, you said your experiences uh, when you bought a, a electronic uh, machines. You, you you have to touch and try that is is some something that you can check before the 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 purchase and, and i consider is that is an, an important thing in my case to buy an electronic uh, that's why i i prefer go to the store in this case but is if that is a food or something that you can change or you 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 have you had tried before is you can you can try it go ahead with it with that all right all right Excellent, excellent. Thank you for your opinion. Any other opinion? The question is, do you prefer... Sorry, go ahead. Go on, please. Okay, okay. I prefer a cool pot. And how do you say pedir? Ask. 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 Okay, uh, I prefer ask, ask a quote and image information data sheet of product online. And through different uh, platform, uh, marketplace, WhatsApp. But 
and pay, pay and shopping, and physical and store physical, physical. Okay. For okay. for uh, how do you say asegurarme? To make sure. To make sure. For make sure that uh, uh, is it is the product uh, I need. I understand, I understand, yes. All right, and Ronald, you were saying? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, in my case, as Liz was saying, uh, particularly in shopping, I uh, is normally I compliment because uh, because normally I have a, a very bad luck um, to shopping online in, in, in terms of size, or a size uh, of the product, especially if we are talking about clothing, um, shoes, or or even uh, how do you say uh, equipage, uh, uh, luggage. Ah, luggage. You bring equipment. Uh, maletas. Luggage. Okay, uh -huh. luggage. Uh -huh. uh, luggage. So normally I go to the store. To see physical, but if I, uh, for example, if the store uh, doesn't have the color I was I was looking for, I look online if they have it, and I and I prefer shopping online. Uh, but I uh, I have an, uh, a first approachment uh, in in the physical the in the physical store. So normally I I apply this technique to know. Uh, and previously, what I was what I was saying. Um, that are normally in, uh, are exclusive deals online. So if I know, if I if I see in the physical store the size uh, and know my uh, what um what item I will I, I will buy. So I I prefer to uh, to shop online. All right, all right, yes. Okay, yeah, we we got. Many options, you know, to buy it and now. Yes, we got many options. Well, thank you guys for your opinions. Uh, we have to continue uh, with the next part because we have a limited time. And the next part is this, the conversation. But let me see if I can uh, share the book instead of showing this over here. Here you go. All right. It's a conversation between Lucas and Saul, or Luke and Saul. Let me read this conversation to you. Let me know if you, if you have any questions about the vocabulary, about any sentence or expression, and I will help you out with that. Let me read it. It says, Lucas is telling Sa Saul, <laughs> Saul, about his plan to open an e an e store to sell his handicraft. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. My friend and I, sorry, Lucas, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our hand for our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmers market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy you, your product 24-7 through an automated platform. And they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let the... Sorry. You may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes customer, consumers disappointed. There you go. That's the conversation. Any questions about the, the vocabulary, about pronunciation, or any sentence or expression that you guys do not understand? Tell me. Drawbacks, what it is. Draw, drawbacks. Drawbacks is a synonym of the word disadvantage. Yes. 
So drawback and disadvantage are synonyms. Yes. Okay. Thank you. What else? The pronunciation of handicraft. Handy. Handicrafts. Crafts. Yes, handicrafts. Okay, handicrafts. Yes. Thank you. What else? Disappoint. Disappointed. Disappointed. Yes. How can I explain this? Is this a point? Point. In the chat. I think I misspelled it. It's one S. Una S. I'm sorry. This one S. Yes, that's disappointed. Disappointed. You can say disappointed or disappointed. Thanks. Both both are correct. What else? We're good. We're good. Yes. Okay. Let me choose some people to practice this conversation for a few minutes. Let me see. Let me choose both Edgardo, Edgardo, Raul Edgardo, and Mauricio Edgardo. Raúl, Mauricio. Okay. I'm going to start with Luca. Yeah, Raúl is sleeping right now. <laughs> Sorry, Probably. Joe. No, he's there. He's there. Sorry, Raúl. Okay, I'm I'm going to start with Luca. All right, all right. Well, yes, go ahead. my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for handicraft. They sell well in the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us or on the countryside. Raul? Okay. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce advent to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24, 24 seven. Yes, 24 seven. So throw and automate, automate, yes? Automated, automated. Arom automated platform. And they are also able able to compare products on price. Mauricio? I'm sorry, I want to talk. I was taking mute. <laughs> okay, that that that's exactly what I need. But are there any drawbacks? to this e-commerce things? Well, you may want to let a different company under the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of, sh of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. Disappointed? Disappointed. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Let's go back here. Uh, the word advantage with no S. Advantage. With S, advantages. Okay. Advantage. Advantages. The same happens with the, the opposite right here. Disadvantages or disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantages. You can also pronounce it like this advantages, advantages, disadvantages. Advantages, disadvantages. Yes. 
And actually, if you want, if you want to sound more, more uh, negative, negative advantages, disadvantages. Yes. If you want to sound more, more negative. Yes. I say, I say advantages and disadvantages. But if you want to sound negative, or if you want to sound gringo, advantages, advantage, disadvantage. Yes. You have, you have the two options. All right. Let me see. Uh, let's continue with Luis. Luis and Luis. <laughs> Luis Javier, you are uh, Lucas and Luis Fabricio, you are Saul. All right. Hey. Thank you. My friend, my friend, and my friend, and I would like to start in e commerce, but say for our handcraft. They sell well at the farmers make market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit visit us here on the countryside. My turn. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy for the, your products 24-7 <clears throat> uh, through an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices that's exactly what we did but are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing well you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all which makes consumers disappointed all right, all right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, both Luis and Luis. And uh, also, thank you, Raul and Mauricio, for the previous participation. Let me see two more people and then we move on. Elizabeth, Stephanie. I think she's not available right now. Katya, are you available? I think she's. Hi. Did you say my name? Yes, your name. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Can you practice? Can yes, thank you. Right now. Yes. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see, Magdiel. Can you help us? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, uh, Magdiel. Magdiel, you are you are Lucas, and Kathy is Saul. Okay. okay that's right. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your product 24-7 through our automated platform, and they are so able to compare products and price. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to have a different company handle to shipping and storage of your product. Then there is the risk of shipping, arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes its consumers disappointed. Okay, thank you both. For may, may we switch? Sorry? Maybe switch, switch the road place? If you want to, yes, no problem. Um, now okay. I'm I'm Saul. Okay, Katia is is Luca then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, my friend, I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They said, well, at the farmers market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automatic platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices. 
That is exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce team? Well, you want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your product. Then there is a risk of shipping arriving, arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make customers disappointed. Disappointed. All right. Excellent, Miguel and Kathy. Thanks. Thank you both. Thank you both for reading. Thank you. Now, You're welcome. Um, Thank you to you. We have, like I said, we have limited time, so we're going to continue with part number three. Yes. And over here in part number three, we have three questions. And it says here, the, discuss the, the answers to the questions below. Number one, why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Question number two, what are two advantages of e-commerce? And three, what are two disadvantages of e-commerce? So what can you say about question number one? Let me make this smaller so you can so you can see the the, the conversation and the questions. I think you can see part of it. Yes, there you go. Yes. So why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? That is the first question. Guys, what can you answer according to the conversation? Uh, because Lucas wants to reach all the people that are unable to visit her store physically. Exactly, exactly, Emerson. You are right. Because Lucas wants to get people, he wants to get people uh, buy his products from the people that don't actually go to the place. All right, that's what, what, what Emerson said, yes. And you can find that information here. We want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. That's that's a why that's why Lucas wants to start an e-commerce website to reach people that don't that don't go to the actual place or to the physical place, and in that way they will get more 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 sales. Yes. Question number two: What are two advantages of e-commerce? What can you say, guys? What are two advantages of e-commerce according to the to the conversation? One of the advantages is that they can sell uh, their products 24-7. All right. That's one. That is one. Can also, anyone uh, mention the second one? And the other... The clients are also able to compare products and prices in a automated platform. Okay, okay. Let me see. Let's go back. Fabricio, Fabricio said that the first advantage is that customers can buy products 24-7. That is one. And Fabricio is right. Katia and Rafael was about to mention that one too. Thank you, Rafael. But you're going to read the next one, Rafael. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Katia say, says that the, the second advantage is that customers can compare products and the prices, and she's right. All right. Thank you both for that one. Rafael, what is an, what is an disadvantage? Rafael? That says uh, the risk of shipping uh, because the products can arrive in bad conditions or not arriving at Okay, yes, there is the risk of shipping, right? Yes, the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all. Yes. What is the second disadvantage? Well, I think some sellers doesn't provide a the opportunity or the chance to return the products is if you don't like the products or if you see or you get some uh, with some technical issues or it's not size or something like that. Okay, you are right. You are right. Exactly. Yes. 
Yes. But according, but according to the conversation, what is the second disadvantage? Tell me. You mentioned, you have mentioned only one. Can you mention the other one? Maybe makes customer disappointed. Okay. Uh, customers are disappointed. Okay. Okay. What about this one? We'll let the third party company handle the shipping and storage. Yes, that's the other one. You may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Why? Why is this a disadvantage? Can you tell me why? Why is this a disadvantage? Tell me. Eh, la competencia. Okay, the competition. No. Well, the main the main problem here with a different company is that you have to pay this company. That means you have to spend spend more money on this, and uh. And also, this company might might not be a good one, you know. Yes, so that's why it is taken as a disadvantage. Very well. Let's go down here to part number four. I think we're gonna be we're gonna finish right here, or number five, four and five. We're going to continue with part number six tomorrow. Yes, no problem. So part number four says building vocabulary. Let me help you out. I'm going to help you out with the vocabulary and you're going to see or, or figure it out with the definition, all right? Selection, this one is pretty easy. You know what it means, selection. Instant gratification, also easy or gratification if you will. If you will. Deals, you know what deals are. Infinite shelves, what is this? This one might might be confusing to you guys. Infinite shelves. What does this mean? It means, well, look, match these terms related to e-commerce to their corresponding meanings. When I say when I say infinite shelves, I mean that when you buy online, you have unlimited options. You have many options or many shelves. Like many shelves with many products, many options. That's why it is, it is a infinite shelves. You have many options or unlimited options. And number five, brick and motor, motor store. Brick and motor store refers to refers to a, a store. A store. Uh, well, can I tell you this in Spanish? <laughs> yes, it's a, like a traditional store. Like when I say when I say brick and mortar or mortar mortar store, I'm talking about a traditional store or a regular store, but pretty much traditional. Traditional sounds better. Okay, so selection is is about choosing, choosing your your or picking up an item or a product. Instead of gratification is when you're thanking. Thinking or when you are feeling good about something, you, you get uh, satisfaction, you feel good. That's instant gratification. And deals is when you are, are, are buying or selling things or items or products. Now, we're gonna match, we're gonna match the definition with the, with the, sorry, the, 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 the vocabulary with the definition that you think is the correct one. I'm going to give you around three or four minutes to do this. So guys, if you have any question, let me know. Go ahead. 
three or four minutes to do this. Place the number in the square. All right, and uh, just go ahead. I think that I have the correct order. Right, all right. Let me give you one more minute. Okay. Thank you, Dean. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me see, let me choose a person. Mauricio, hello. Mauricio, hello. Okay. I'm here, but I'm trying to get the right order. Okay, you're trying to get it, all right. Emerson, you got it? I'm still, still working on it. Okay. Still working on it. Rafael Herrera. Yep. You got it? I'm done. Okay. Let's see. Number one, selection. Read the word and read the definition that you think goes with the word. Uh, selection, having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Again, please. It's on, uh, selection, uh, having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Okay. Thank you. Do you guys agree with Rafael? I do. Okay. Agree, agree, agree. Who else agrees? I agree. Okay. Tatia agrees. I think we all agree. Let's see. Let me read it again. Or oh, let me read it. Selection. Having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Yes. Yes. So number one goes right there. Number one goes right there. Oops, hold on. So number one goes over here. The second one, Luis Fabricio, can you read the second one? Instant gratification. I think that instant gratification goes with 
the fourth sentences sentence Uh, the desire to experience fulfillment without delay. Okay. Guys, do you agree with Luis Fabricio? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes. Okay, you guys agree. Very well. Uh, instant gratification. The desire to experience fulfillment without delay. Yes. What is fulfillment? Do you know what fulfillment is? Fulfillment. Yes, no? It's like uh, total, when you total, feel... Total. Um, like um, what, sorry? Fulfillment is uh, to... Uh, I uh, like delivery. The fulfillment like to to give you to to have the product to exactly. receive the receiving exactly. place by the liver the liver exactly the liver very well very well uh number three deals emerson do you have it emerson do you have number three the deals Sorry, I was speaking mute. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Uh, okay. Well, for me, it's uh, the last sentence. When a website offers products for sale. Okay, deals when a website offers products for sale. Okay, yeah. I think I think everyone agrees. So I agree too, so yes. That's the one, that's the one. Thank you very much, uh, Emerson. Let's see. Uh, Kathy, can you read number four? Infinite shelves. Yes, infinite shelves is a traditional business that deals with its customers face to face in an offer or a store. No. Mm. I, I think the, this the the first one, the virtually unlimited extended range of rooms available in e-commerce stores. Same here. Same. Agree. Okay. Okay. Who, who agrees with Katya? I disagree. Okay, you can disagree. disagree. Yeah. Right, all right. By the way, Katya, you read very fast. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sorry. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. It's fine. No I problem. didn't understand the, the infinity shelves. I only read shelves. <laughs> uh, my mind. Uh, I don't know. It's related with the don't, don't worry about face it. to face. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. All right. Yes, it's it's the Thank first you. one, number four. Infinite shelves, the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores. All right. In the last one, brick and mortar store. Miguel, can you read it? Yes, um, five brick and mortar store is a traditional business that deals with its customers face to face in an office or a store. Okay, thank you, thank you, Katya. Yes, brick and mortar store, a traditional business that deals with its customers face to face in an office or store. We got it. So the right order is four, five, one, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three. That is the right or the correct order. Yes, we got it. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, it is 10 p.m. o'clock right now. It's time. So we're going to continue with part number five and part number six tomorrow. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. We can continue with that tomorrow. Yes. Do you have any questions or any last questions? Do we have uh, tasks to do? Yes. Today's task. Yeah. The first one, the first one. The first one, yes. Let me see. Let me uh, update the attendance real quick. Diego Benitez. 
Cheer. Thank you. We got Stephanie Vasquez, yes, but she's she's as a listener, so she's not she's not really available right now. Emerson Alexander. Present. Eric Enrique. I'm here. Thank Present. you. Lisa and Carla no, no, were not here today. Katia Maria, yes. Luis Fabricio. Present. Luis Javier. Present. You, Miguel Esau. Present. Thank you, Miguel Manuel Alexander. No, right. Marilyn, no. Mario, no. Mauricio Edgardo. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Rafael Alberto. Here. Thank you. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz. Yeah. Roma Alexander Vasquez. Present. All right, we got it. Okay, Diego, can you please stay? Okay. Thank you, Diego. Sorry. <laughs> you are the winner. All right. People, thank you. Um, thank you for yes, tell me. Just let me a moment. I want to find in the charger. It's okay, it's okay. Yes. People, uh, I just want to thank you for joining today's session. Thank you very much for being here. It has been a pleasure for me to be here with you all. And, uh, well, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we got nothing else to do. Have a good night. Rest well. And, uh, well, see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, see you good tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, night. good night for everyone. Thank you so good night. For your time. Bye bye. Good Take night. care, people. Take care. Take care. Thank you, sir. Good night, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. Rest well. Let me know, Diego. Sorry, teacher. I'm here. Okay. No problem. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I won't take a lot of time from you, Diego. Don't worry. Just five or six minutes, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, do you have any questions about today's today's uh, topic or topics or about previous topics or any questions about English? I'm here. Um... <laughs> I don't have questions um, about this topic, um, but with the English, I think that my first problem is my uh, knowledge, my vocabulary. Sorry, because um, if when I when I'm trying to speak, I don't have words in my mind to say. And um, when, for example, if you if you talk to me in English, I can understand the almost things because um i'm 
I'm watching movies in English or listening songs, and I can understand because I I like the 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 language, but I have problems to speak uh, because in a if if I uh, if I if I am am I am talking to you in a in a long time, I will be. Um, like, how how can I say that? Um, my mind is like, um, erased. I don't know. It's like yes. you, like you don't have more ideas. Yes, yes. I don't. I, 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 or I, um, I forget the the words, or I, como pierdo la idea. I, I lose the idea. Lose the, the idea. Yes. Yes. Mm. What you gotta do right there is just practice a lot. Yes. Yes. Because and you're speaking English right now. <laughs> I don't know what yes. you're saying that you don't speak English, but you're speaking English with me right now, no with no problems. Um but I think that I'm thinking a lot the, the words to say. The the words, sorry. That's because I am that is fine. What? It's it's part of the process. I haven't speaking in a lot of time. It's my first time, like, in six uh, month. in six months. Six uh, months. Speaking, yes, speaking English in English. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but you're doing it well. You're doing it good. Yes, you just have to practice and just don't don't lose confidence. Don't lose confidence, because uh. Like, like, I don't know how can I tell you this, but a couple of years ago, uh, people used to make fun of uh, uh, of people that were learning English. But now people don't make fun of us. If you're learning English and if, and people hear you speak English, or if your English is, is not really good, they won't say anything about that. They won't say anything about that. Because it's just, it was before. You know, now people don't make fun of anybody. Yes. So I, I would say don't lose confidence, practice more. And if you want to, to want to learn more vocabulary, try to learn three three words every day. Like uh, get a dictionary or get a, a, a website or go to Google and uh, find three verbs, three animals, three fruits, three words, anything. It can be two or three. Write them on a piece of paper, take, take them to work, and uh, put them in your pocket, over here in your pocket or in your jeans. And every time you can look at them, take, it, take them out, look at them, and study the words. Maybe, maybe you're not going to learn the three words. Maybe you're going to learn only one, but that's fine. One word, learning one word every day is good. In a month, it will be 30. So that's fine. That's an idea I can give you. Uh, another thing that I can tell you is like, keep watching videos, keep watching, keep watching movies. Read, read a lot. Gotta read a lot. Try to find uh, uh, intermediate books. Or, or basic books because some basic books are not really basic they are intermediate and they have uh, some yeah. good vocabulary yes. so I have some ones if you want I, I can give you uh, um... and another problem that I that I have is that I have problems to remember the words um for example, in English, there are a lot of words that are words. Sorry, that are really common, mm -hmm. but I am constantly remembering that words because I am um, I forget it. I forget. I forget them. Sorry. For example, um, I was thinking in what word. Um, I don't remember, but I was a uh, hard problems to remember what is the um, the meaning in Spanish. 
I don't know what is. Um, I, I don't remember. But um, like three days ago, I was thinking really hard to remember the meaning of a word that is really common. And I, I, I was, I was, uh, I was trying to not um, searching or or you use the translate to to know the 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 meaning. I was remember and remember and remember, mm -hmm. uh, but but this this is a problem that I have. I but I can't you, remember the common words. Did you know the word in in English? What? Did you know the word in English? Ah uh, yes. Uh, no. Did... No. But you forgot the I... word in Spanish. Yes, in Spanish, in Spanish, but in English, uh, in English too, because I I didn't oh, okay. have the meaning, the meaning, only the word, only the word. But I was thinking what it means. How can I use it? You know, I don't remember what word was. Um... Okay. I don't remember. Uh, what you can what you can do in that case is uh, text a person that speaks English or knows English and ask that person what the word means. I'm telling you, what, 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 why am I telling you this? Because when somebody else tells you a meaning of a word, a meaning of an expression, you memorize it. I don't know why. I don't know why, but that, that's how it is. If you ask me what something means and I tell you what that means, you memorize it. You never forget it. I'm telling you because I have my friend, my, my best friend, he speaks in full English. Like his English is native because he lived in the U.S. for more than 30 years. So his English is, is perfect. Yes. And when I ask him, when I ask him about a word or an expression that I don't know, and he tells me the definition, I never forget it. So that's an idea, that's something that you, that you can do. Ask a person that knows or speaks English about the word or the expression, and you might not forget about it anymore. That's an idea. Yes. That's that's true, thanks teacher, because I I was um, working to, to memorize this screwdriver. I have mm -hmm. uh, big problems to, to memorize it, but a friend that um, he is better than me is speaking in English because um, he started in a in a bilingual Italian. school and okay, school. he knows he knows a lot and I I I asked him I asked him um. Uh, what is screwdriver? Uh, screwdriver, I don't remember. And he told me, destornillador. And I remember, I can't forget it because um, he told me what's the meaning. Exactly. That's true. That's, true. That's, an idea. That's an idea. I mean, the person that you're texting to, texting to might be feeling, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, awkward because you're asking, asking, and asking. But yes. That's what you have to do. You gotta ask. Yes. Another thing that I have problems to remember the the structure of the of the the yeah. sentence because now I think that I am um, um, improve. You know, you know, improvisando is improvise. Improvising. Uh -huh. Yes, I can I say that. Yes, improvising. improvising yes. I am improvising <laughs> and I am thinking the structure because I am constantly um, forgetting that. Mm. But but I am I am like um emotional. I'm excited. I'm excited to to know more because it's not only for an obligation, it's like a I want to be bilingual. It's it's necessary, but it's it's a personal uh, goal. Yes, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. 
And that is that is better. I mean, if a person wants to learn English and this person is doing that because if it's an obligation, it's gonna be very difficult. But if you like yes. the language, if you if you want to speak English, if you want to like like learn the language and you like it, you're going to do it very fast. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you because uh, I started studying or learning English in 2010, 13 years ago. And uh, I spent two years um, doing nothing. Doing nothing because I started to learn English for an obligation. I didn't like English at all. And I started to study that because my family asked me to. <laughs> I had no option. On my third, my third year in the university, I started thinking, what am I doing with my life? I got, I have to change this. And uh, I don't know how, but I fell in love with the language. I started to like, I started to love the language. And I learned faster than usual. And I think that's how I learned a lot because I was I was in love. I'm still in love with the language. I'm still learning. I learn words pretty much every day, expressions every day, things that I didn't know. I'm still learning, yes. So you gotta you gotta fall in love with the language. You have to love the language to learn it faster. And well, you have the advantage because you you're saying that you want to. That's that's a that's a plus. That's a good. It was my case, but I got a a teacher that uh, um teach me teach me you know taught me and say taught, taught me yes, yes uh, that taught me um another form to to see the language to 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 know the language and i i think that my 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 little um improvings my pequeñas mejoras improves improves uh -huh. my little improves um we're um making me feel uh, better like um like an um, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm learning and I I was feeling good for that do you know and that that is good that is good Diego. that is really good really good and about about the structure you you, you mentioned that you you forget the structures or you get confused that's totally yes. fine don't you worry about it it's it's part of the process it's difficult to 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 manage them all to master the structures is is difficult there are 14 structures in English. 14. Just imagine. Think about that. 14. Wow. 14. Uh, and but let me tell you that there are like three or four structures that don't I, I never use them. I use them <laughs> maybe once in a year or once in two years. Like they are not really necessary. Yes, but there are 14. 14 structures. Yes. 14. Only to prove the assignment. <laughs> Sorry? Only to approve the assignment in the university. Yes, exactly, exactly. You have what you gotta do here is practice. Well, I re I will recommend this. Try to practice one one uh, structure every week, or maybe two structures every week. For example, this week from uh, tomorrow on, you can study simple present and simple past. You can comp you can compare the structure. The structure is the same, subject, verb, complement. The difference is the verb in the present and the verb in the past form. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. And next week, you can compare, you can study two, two structures, present progressive and past progressive. The difference is the verb be. Am, um, is, are, was, and were. You can compare the structures and you can use them. That's what you can do. Study the structures like uh, two of them every week, not not all of them at once. Because if you study or practice all of them at the same time, you're going to get confused. Yes, 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I don't um steal you more time. It's okay. It's okay. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yes. Yes. Thank you, so teacher. If, if you have if you have any questions, don't 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 hesitate to get in touch with me through the WhatsApp group, or you can te text me directly. Not not a problem. All right. If you have any questions, you can text me on WhatsApp through my uh through WhatsApp through the through the group in WhatsApp or my 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 number. Not a problem. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Now I am feeling good um about these classes. Yeah, just, Thank just, you. Just keep keep yourself up. Uh, don't give up. Don't lose confidence, and just continue practicing. Yes, and whatever whatever opinion you give over here is welcome. Yes, nobody is going to laugh okay. at you or judge you or make fun of you. Just just do your thing. Practice, practice, and practice. Because over here, uh, let me tell you this: the beginner, the beginners are about vocabulary and some structures. When you get to intermediate, it's not really about structure or grammar. We do teach grammar actually on Wednesday, not tomorrow. On Wednesday, I'm going to teach you a grammar topic. But uh, intermediate and advanced is more about speaking. Yes. So. Okay. Uh, I like it. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Okay. See you soon, teacher. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, Diego. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.